situation today. I will tell you what the situation is. You see, the Yoruba, we are the ones that are called Hadubuleja. We know ourselves. We know ourselves. Yoruba don't give me. If I don't know one thing, major, major. We had told them, do this. They said they won't do it. Fine. We'll be left to our own devices. So we are left to our own devices now. And what is that? I, I, I can only tell you a few things. Okay. Uh, because a good general will not reveal all his strategies. Mm -hmm. But even at that, let the Yoruba be very sure of one thing. We are not going to stay in this situation for too long. Uh, my dear Egbon Professor Akintoye, even though he has chosen a path that I very very feels is a bit futile. We are not saying that, oh, he doesn't have a point. It's not as if we don't support him when we need to. But we have devised a means, starting from that 2017. You know, it's like this. If you check around the world, those who have gotten independence, there must be a, a reason why. If you want to study and to win, you, you must have an idea of what it is if that you are given a set of questions on how to answer. So you must work hard. You must do research. So we don't have research. We know how Yugoslavia fell. We know how Czechoslovakia fell. We know how USSR fell. And other nations that are broken up. We know about the Velvet Revolution. We know about the Rose Revolution. As I'm saying it, let my viewers be going to Google to check what is called Velvet Revolution, what is called Rose Revolution. Let them check how countries who wanted to break up, or those who wanted to, indigenous people, who want to, or who had planned to get out, how they've been able to do it, how, and how some of them have not been able to do it. How has Catalonia not been able to get out of Spain? And why would it be possible for the Georgian revolution to happen. So by the time people were going into election in 1999, Afeniferi said, this constitution is bad. It will not work. In fact, I want people to go to YouTube and search Papa De Banjo Ufuta panel. Just put that there. He said that, that this, con this country will not survive 20 years of this constitution. OK, so we are, I I'm sorry, please, okay, my brother, okay, I need to okay. say this. So we told Obasanjo. He tried to put everything together to do a constitutional review. But because of thought time, it didn't work. We told Jonathan. Jonathan agreed with us. And Professor, uh, well, we call him doctor, but he's a professor. Femi Okurumu, Senator, Harvard trained from first degree to PhD, was the one who midwifed the 2014 conference. That's why we stood by Jonathan. But then other people felt it was worrying. See what has happened now. See rice from 7,000 to 42,000. See petrol from 86 naira to, to 190. See diesel from 120 to 1,000. Is that, is that what you wanted? We knew Buari was not going to do well. So 2017, we did something. We started this idea of making an inclusive invitation to every Yoruba, including the vice president who sent to Judu, all the governments of the Southwest sent their representatives. Governor Fayoshi was the one in Ekiti. He came physically. Oh, and he was there. Papa Fe Babalala was there. Sister me, uh, Dr. Tokumba World was there. Uh, every Yoruba that mattered was there. Dr. Kunde was our uh, chair of the steering committee. The point I'm making is this. We now called on Hanezi. Come and see what we are doing. We called the Pan Niger Delta Forum, PANDEF, that represents the South South. Come and see what we are doing. We knew what we were doing. We now call the Middle Belt Forum. They represent the Middle Belt. Come and see what we are doing. After that, come and talk. Of course, the PG of Johannes then he spoke. Uh, uh, Chief um, uh, John Nia Ngodo. And that was the beginning of what we formed, which has been the biggest coalition to date in the history of Nigeria that has lasted for five years, uninterrupted. And that is the Southern Middle Belt Leaders Forum, SMDLF. Everything we are doing now, we are doing with three other zones to make sure that we free ourselves from those who, who have decided 
in their mindset that they are going to keep the Yoruba down. So if the question is being asked, what is our strategy for freeing the Yoruba? I will say we can't do it alone. Okay. The reason why we can't do it alone, we know. Ojuku with all the army, he prepared, look, the, the, the July 29th coup happened the, exactly one year before the Civil War started. When uh, 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 Gwon assumed office on the 2nd of August, on the 3rd, that was when Ojuku said, I don't recognize you. So Ojuku had started planning for the war, but did he win? So we know it won't be by war. It can only be by consensus. It can only be one of the models I've mentioned. I won't mention a particular model, because if I do so, then, of course, I've let out the cat out of the bag. But we know that we must follow a particular pattern, and that is what we've been doing to get others together. Don't be surprised. If one day you just hear that there's a declaration in Ibadan, same day, declaration in Portacor, same day, declaration in Jos, same day, declaration in Enugu, I won't tell you what the declaration will be about. But that we will continue to be in this situation, I think it will not allow it.